scan in which I'll show you like uh, the momentum scan so uh, which we I hope you are doing well. I recorded a session on how to use trading view scanner. I'll cover two different scan in which uh, we generally use for active trading. At last I'll discuss one intraday momentum scan which will show you like where the money is flowing for the day. So I'll cover uh, each of the scanners one by one. So for scanning uh, you can see the uh, scanning uh, toggle on the right side. So when you click on the scanner if it is not visible on your screen then you just need to update your trading view app. So I'll just click on this trading view scanner. So it is customizable like you can use um, size as, as per your need. So you can minimize or maximize as per your need. So I'll first go through the uh, 52 week high scan. So I'll create the scan from the scratch. So it will give you an idea how to create the scan and all. So first you need to select the create a new screen. So uh, let me just uh, create a new screen. So I'll just uh, name it as a 52 week high. 52 week high scan. Now it is showing the stock from all the markets. So for that you just need to select the Indian market. So let's say you selected from the Indian market. Now you can see uh, there are uh, 6508 stock it is showing in totally number. So it is included all the stocks from the NSE and BSE. For that what you need to do uh, just click on this plus icon and you can select the exchange. So if you select the exchange and select only the NSE stocks then it will show you only 2351. 51 stocks so now what you can do for the uh, scanning criteria so let's say if you want to create a 52 week high scanner so let's say uh, you just want to uh, choose the stock which are trading above the 21 EMA uh, 200 EMA so you just need to select the EMA and after that you just need to select the 200 EMA for the one day and you can add the filter when after that when you select the 200 EMA then it should be uh, 200 EMA should be below the price like price should be above the 200 EMA. Now these stocks uh, come down from 2500 to 1300. Similarly you can select for the 50 EMA too. Uh, let me just select it. So uh, 50 EMA one day. So price should be below the uh, like price should be above the 50 EMA and one more you can select uh, EMA. I'll tell you just a second. So the 50 EMA should be above or equal to the uh, 20 EMA. Uh, let me select it here. Uh, 50 EMA should be above and equal to the EMA. Uh, where is the EMA? So here is the EMA. So 50 EMA should be above and equal to the 200 EMA. You can select it from here. So now it will give you the stock on which 50 EMA is above the 200 EMA. So now it is coming down to 891 stock. Now if you want to select the 52 week high criteria. So for that what you need to do uh, just select the price. And when you go and edit this one. So uh, just select on the manual uh, setup and then price should be uh, below 30% of the 52 week high. What you can select price should be below uh, 0 to 30% of the 52 week high so for that you can select the highest high here and it, you can select the 52 week high now this what it will give you it will give you a uh, stock on which price is below the uh, 0 to 30 percent of the 52 week high so now it is coming down to 866 stocks and after that if you want to select any uh, price into volume criteria so you can also select that uh, just let me select so volume into price of one day should be above and equal to the uh, let's select uh, 100 million. So now it will give you 467 stock which are you know liquid and uh, trading just below the 30% of the 52 week high and the stock price is above the 50 EMA and the 50 EMA is about the 200 EMA. Now if you uh, select uh, you know if you want to trim down this 467 to more then you can just uh, you know tie these criteria and this will uh, this number will come down and if you want to scan directly from here then what you can select you can select the candlestick chart and you can go to the six month time frame 
now this six month time frame will show you the daily candles of the chart and if you uh, if this uh, charts are visible you know small to you then what you can do you can select two by two custom layout from here chart grid so now it is easy for you to scan directly from this one and if anyone who are using the uh, free trading view subscription so for that it is also very easy to scan from here but if you want to scan uh, all the charts from your uh, you know uh, from your screen and uh, you don't want to add these uh, uh, like you know all the stocks into your uh, uh, watch list because in free trading view you can uh, you can only use 30 uh, stocks per watch list so what you can do you can directly uh, scan from uh, scan all the stock from this one. scan stocks from here now come to the second part of the scan in which i'll show you like uh, the momentum scan so uh, which we call like prati bonde momentum scan in which uh, we look for the stock which are showing the you know 30 percent performance in last three months or something like that so we'll uh, uh, i'll just remove this one and all these criteria you can you know take as a in that scanner also so for that uh, let me select this one performance the momentum scanner for the intraday time frame so that will help you like uh, to uh, see where the money is flowing for the day for so for that uh, let me just open that one so uh, this is the scanner which will uh, you know these are just some basic criteria so here you can use uh, 10 million and so these are some basic basic criteria like price should be about uh, about 50 ema and then the 50 ema should be about 200 ema and the three month performance should be greater than 30 percent and the uh, percentage change is about uh, three percent for the day so it will show you the stock which are showing you know uh, more than three percent change for the day so if you uh, scan you know if you run this scanner at around 10 or 10 30 am then you will basically get the idea like you know the where the uh, which are the stocks which are showing the momentum for the day so if you are doing some momentum intraday trading then it will be helpful for you to scan the momentum scores from here so yeah that's pretty much about this how uh, we can use the trading view scanner without the use of without the use of charting scanner because uh, in that we need to uh, add your stock to our watch list and just so you can directly scan from the here so that's it for this video